Hello, I feel like it's been a while since my last upload, but I'm super excited today to be bringing you a, another video from my recent Japan trip. I say recent, but it was actually like a few months ago now. Um, uh, things have been very hectic, but I really wanted to bring you this video because this video we got to try on Yukata in Japan. And Yukata are very special to me and all forms of Japanese traditional dress are very, very special to me because I love J fashion, I love fashion in general, I was only able to study it for a very brief period at university, but uh, what I did learn during my brief three weeks studying fashion history, uh, they taught us that once you wear a garment, the clothing kind of becomes an extension of your being and the clothes kind of serve sometimes as a catalyst for self-change and I find this quite evident in my costume making and cosplay uh, where I feel like fabric kind of has the power to transfer me into a different version of yourself and when you put on a costume you can kind of unlock an unseen potential. Uh, I especially see this with my idol costumes. I think I might do that one. Look at all of the different prints. As you can see in this video, we struggled so much to choose a print because of how many there were but I love the symbolic meanings behind all of these yukata I love what it means to wear a yukata and it really is the best way to learn something by doing it and by experiencing it so the place that we ended up renting our yukata from is a place called Oka Kimono. Um, this is not sponsored, but we were able to find it through Klug and it was only around $30 Australian each um, for the full yukata and also the hairstyling. So honestly, really, really affordable. If you're a student on a budget and you wanna do this with your friends, I highly recommend as like a really low cost activity. Navigating the streets is very difficult. It is. It's very beautiful. Oh wow. wow! A lot of you might have seen, if you watch my other videos, the other yukata that we upcycled into idol costumes. And in the process of making those costumes, I did get a lot of people saying, uh, is this controversial? Are you trying to be Japanese? Are you trying to like culturally appropriate Japanese fashion? But I really, I never intended that and neither did any of the girls. Um, actually in Japan, the feedback and the comments that we got from Japanese people were we love to see you wearing yukata and we love to see it because you wear it beautifully so look at my girl we've been taking a lot of photos yeah we all kind of match we tried to pick similar like color schemes flowers we're all flowers yeah. we all got flowers and pearls we have pearls on our obis mm. are you having fun yeah it's and very hot sweaty. very I feel like it's cooler than it was before yeah. though can't imagine what it would be like if it hadn't rained yeah. Also, we were in kimono instead of. I know. We chose like really thin ones. They're made out of cotton. Yeah. Great. They are very solid. Very and we wide. didn't eat breakfast before we put them on. Oh, yeah. We have to return them. We're going to yeah. eat so much food after that. Okay. That's why it's good they're a little uncomfortable, so you actually want to hand them back. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to take True. Them I do want to buy one, though. I do want to buy one. Let's take some videos over in front of this bush, too. I really want to get like a up down, like of the path. So as long as you're respecting the rules, making sure that you're wearing it, the folds are correctly done and your obi is uh, folded correctly and it means that I'm getting to share this culture with you, with my audience and that means a lot to me because this is part of the world, this is part of culture, this is part of history and it's important for me as a designer to know how these things work um, and to be able to understand what came before me as a designer, what I can then put into the world is going to be a more informed uh, artwork I guess or design <laughs> clothing I really hope that one day I can go back to Japan and do like a course or some kind of uh, lesson or workshop where I actually can see the construction of yukata and learn more about the fabric printing process because I know that Japan has so many special cultural uh, techniques and we don't really have any of that really in Australia so much or the 
temple, which temple is this? Oh, this the is temple up the hill. Kiyomizudera. Mm -hmm. I like your socks. Thank you, I bought 3 socks. Yeah, the blue and the pink. They're a little bit aggressive, but you know. <laughs> it was a very close family friend's birthday, which we were asked to film a bit of a dance cover to, which is what we're doing here. He ended up getting a compilation from his family and friends around the world for his 50th birthday, and it honestly was so special that we were able to do it on this day, um, visiting the shrines and dressed up in Yukata. We're at the temple and it is too hot. It's so humid. The girls are getting pretty photos over there. Can you see them? It's so pretty. Wow, it's busy. Is this busy or no? We're now leaving the temple because it's too hot and sweaty. We're so sweaty. We hope that they aren't too grossed out when we return the yukata. Well, well, hopefully we'll cool down by then. Oh no, oh, this, this is dead end. Wow, it's, it's so beautiful water. though. Oh, you. <laughs> it started raining. Why? <laughs> This is the most cursed meal we've had. Literally, I think Apple. Apple? Certainly gonna get worse from here as well. Here we go. Buttery festival. We'd actually planned on visiting three of the main temples, but we actually, because of the heat, were only able to walk to two of them. Well, I guess, and I guess this just means that there's more to do when I come back to Japan in the future. Ah, uh, we're all finished with the kimono rental, but now we're going to the Pokemon store. Are you excited? And also, I'm very excited. This is my second Pokemon store so far. Second. We'll see, my first. We'll see what they have. I'm um, excited. It's very overwhelming because it's the Pokemon Championships. It is Pokemon Worlds. cheaper, right? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's better because well, you don't pay for shipping, right? Yeah, no import tax. No import tax, yeah. 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 Um, but we're also going to try finding some shoes for Maya. Yeah, I really need shoes before USJ tomorrow. I think I also might try finding sandals. Yeah, yeah me too. I feel like we need like two Chunky pairs of shoes sandals. Yeah. Like, to bring tomorrow. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to, like, no matter what shoes we're going to wear, we're going to get sore anyway. Yeah, I reckon. We'll see what we can find. Let's hunt. Hunt, hunt begins. Half an hour walk. Hunt begins. Whilst the Pokemon Worlds were happening, we actually didn't get to participate in any of the official events, but we really wanted to visit the Pokemon Center. Both Pip and I have been lifelong Pokemon fans. Stop. They don't have him. They don't have him? Looks like a... I'm dying. This is amazing. So many. But I like this guy. Look. This one. It's really cute. I'm gonna walk you guys through my process for gotcha. So first we do a prayer, and then we do the gotcha. That's the whole process. Freaking cool. It's all 
so beautiful. So after a very long day and an unsuccessful shoe hunt, we made our way back home um, because the next day, like I said, we're going to USJ. So if you want to see that vlog and spend the day with us at USJ, we're not dressing up for USJ because it was way too hot. Um, I, spoiler alert, died at the end of it. So I'll see you in that one. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye. Have a great day.